Welcome to my magical fairy garden. Drawing over Kuritaki watercolour base today, just finding lines within the paint and drawing around them, just outlining them. I'm using a 0.5 uni pin fine liner, black fine liner pen. And once I've found the patterns and I've lined, outlined them, I'm drawing these little shapes which are there to represent pebbles. Uh, they're all of similar sizes, just slightly random shape to them. And just filling in that area in between those lines. I'm adding some shading here and what I'm doing is just adding tiny little dots to the bottom of the pebbles and more dots at the bottom graduating up towards the centre of each pebble. You could add some extra line um, by going over what you've already done and filling in any corners just around the moth and that will make the pebbles stand out and look a bit more of a circular shape. So I've found this lovely shape within the paint reminds me of a little fairy mushroom um, if you can't see shapes within your paint just make them up as you go along um, just look at what you've got and just think well does that represent anything if it doesn't then just make it up um, rounding off any sharp edges within the pen marker here just making sure that there's no sharp edges, doubling up on some of the lines um, around the border just for a more bolder look. The second mushroom is more of a made up mushroom. I couldn't really see the lines. I could just see at the top that there were some shaping that could identify as a mushroom. So made it up as I went along. Um, you can create whatever you want, as I've said earlier. Um, just have a look and see whether there are any shapes. I'm making up some flower shapes here. Um, just because I could see that the paint had left some marks. I'm imagining that this is a lovely little pretty fairy garden and the fairy lives in this garden and she loves looking at the flowers um, and I'm now shading in between some of the uh, inside of the flowers by just adding small little tiny circles then shading on the outside and just making a bolder look to this flower if you turn your pen to the side, you can make finer lines within your flowers. Um, it makes a big difference. So you don't need a load of different pens. Just use the side of your pen. So here, just adding some dots and filling in the corners there so there aren't any sharp lines. And just going over again. Um, and you can see here again the fine line. I've just turned the pen to the side again, adding some little circles there. So no fairy garden would be complete without some jewels. So I'm just making little oval shapes here. And then I'm just adding thicker line and dangly little diamonds off little chains. This is for her to sit underneath and admire a garden and just adding some more flower details and details to the mushrooms and using some colouring in pencils for shading, thinking about where the shade would be on all these different items, just for a little bit of interest. Using similar colour pencils to the paint that's underneath, um, just for that shading. I hope you like this and if you do like this it would be great if you could subscribe, maybe like and any feedback would be welcome, either good or negative and there you have it.
your beautiful, lovely little fairy garden. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.